I'm excited to try this out. Okay, so I'm already smelling the chocolate from it. Ooh, work it right here. Not bad, lactose free. That's great for me. I mean, you're drinking and you're feeling like balls of protein powder just popping in your mouth. It's pretty gross. Hey guys, and welcome to Life with Mare. In today's video, I'm trying out a new protein powder. It is called Diesel, a New Zealand whey protein. I'm excited to try this out. It's chocolate obsession flavor. I cannot wait. I've run out of the one that I bought from Costco that I absolutely loved. So I'm ready and I'm willing to try out something new. If you guys want to hear about my honest opinion and my review about this protein shake and see me try it out, just keep watching. Here is my protein cup, guys. I've already filled it about halfway with my almond milk. I absolutely love having my protein powder with almond milk because it gives it a nice creamier thick taste. I've tried it with water before and it does not taste good at all. I've tried it with water before and it does not taste good at all. It is just really watery. You can feel the clumps of the protein powder in the water and it's just not appetizing at all. If I'm gonna drink something, it has to be something that's gonna taste really good. And I found that the almond milk tastes amazing with it. I have yet to make any shakes with my protein powder or baked with it because I mean, life is busy. I am such a busy mom, busy at work, busy at home, the gym, YouTube, you name it. And it's a little bit hard to make shakes as often as I used to. So I just mix it with the almond milk. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna mix the protein powder in with the almond milk that I have already pre-poured into my shaker cup and I'm gonna try it out for you guys. So it is the morning. I just got back from the gym and I'm starving. So they say that you're usually supposed to have a protein powder or a protein shake within 45 minutes to an hour of your workout. It's already past that, so I've already <laughs> gone over the threshold, but that's okay, regardless of that, you still have to have some protein within your day after you've done a workout to maintain that muscle so that you're not losing it. You don't want your workouts to go to waste. Trust me when I tell you, it's a lot of work and you don't want it to waste. So I've been having protein shakes, I wanna say about five times a week, sometimes four to five, and the other days when I'm just not able to, when I'm on my way to work after the gym, I just have a protein bar. So. This is what it looks like. This is the New Zealand Diesel Whey Protein in Chocolate Obsession. You guys know I love my chocolate. So this one here is two pounds, 908 grams, and there's 26 servings in here. So if I have about five a week, this should last about just over a month, about five weeks. It has 24 grams of protein. It's amazing taste and easy to mix. Because like I said before, when you're mixing the protein powder with the water, it becomes really clumpy. And I mean, you think that it's fully mixed, but it's actually not. Even with the shaker ball, it's not entirely shook it. Shook, I don't know if that's a word. Okay, so here it is right here. It has, I wanted to see the sugar intake. 0% sugar, so there's only 1.5 gram of sugar. That's amazing. 48% of your daily protein. So I mean, have two of these and you're entirely set for the day. Cholesterol, 24%, sodium, 1%. So there's not a lot of sodium in there. So it's basically pure protein, amazing. And if you guys don't like to drink it in a shake, like I said before, you can also add protein powder to your pancakes. You can add it to muffins, to cookies, to anything that you're basically cooking. And you can also add it to your oatmeal, for example. And you can mix it in with some fruits, make a shake or some milk with whatever floats your boat. You can mix it in so that you don't taste the flavor. And surprisingly, I actually don't mind protein shakes. I actually like it. Okay, so I'm already smelling the chocolate from it. So it smells really good. So I'm gonna show you guys, it's actually like halfway. So it's really misleading this container. It's only, I wanna say like halfway full. So that's a little skimpy, first and foremost. This I paid at Walmart, I believe $22.99, which is not bad. It is a small tub. They do have the larger size of this. So I'll definitely have to double check and see the price wise where they have the best deals for protein powder. So inside, I'm just gonna kind of shake it up. There is a scooper cup. I don't like to dig my hand in it, so I'm just gonna shake it up until I get it. So here's the shaker cup right here. So each shake that you make should have about one cup of protein powder, and this is equivalent to one serving size. So I'm gonna mix this up, guys, now, and try it out. Alrighty. I guess this would've been easier on my table, but that's okay. All right, so filling it up. There's one with my milk. Putting that baby back. 
and it's just kind of floating in there. So you gotta give it a real nice shake, guys. Real nice shake. Make sure that this is closed because there's one time I was shaking it up in the car and oh my gosh, it was a complete disaster. It spilled everywhere. here okay so I like to peek inside and see so it looks pretty well blended I forgot to tell you guys how it smells so it smells chocolatey it smells like a chocolate cake mix powder like those Duncan Hines ones yeah that's exactly what it smells like okay so I think this is shaken up pretty good It's definitely lighter tasting in chocolate than the one I had from Costco. Not bad. It sort of tastes like a watered down chocolate milk. Like it's a very mild chocolate taste. I'm a little bit disappointed about that. Maybe I need to add a little bit less milk in it next time. Yeah, it's definitely mild. Definitely, definitely mild. But the one thing I must say is that, remember I was talking about the balls of powder, protein powder that doesn't dissolve? This one is right. It actually did say on here that it's easy to mix. Easy to mix, and it has some more information here. It says, banned, substance-free, amazing taste, 100% whole protein source, peanut and nut-free, lactose-free, that's great for me, gluten-free, and asperitamine-free. That's amazing. So you know what? I'll kind of have to sacrifice the taste. I feel like the taste is not the best, but it's decent and it's definitely doable. I'll be able to drink it. And just not having those clumps of protein powder makes a big difference because it feels really unappetizing when it's in your mouth. It feels, the texture is just horrible. I mean, you're drinking and you're feeling like balls of protein powder just popping in your mouth. It's pretty gross. Mm. So this blended out really nicely actually, guys happy about this all right guys so my overall opinion about diesel protein powder is thumbs up I want to give it a four out of five just because the flavor it's not really chocolate obsession I mean this looks like a decadent brownie or piece of cake and it just doesn't taste like that it's very watered down I'm gonna try it with a little bit less almond milk and see if that makes a difference but it dissolves really well it's lactose free it's gluten free it has a lot of protein there's not very much else anything in there I mean it's pure protein so it's really really good so I'm gonna give it like I said a four maybe even a 4.5 out of five so definitely if you're looking for a protein powder I would say try out something like this and guys I hope that you like this video I'm gonna go finish the rest of my protein powder probably get some food in me as I'm very starving right now and I hope you guys like this video if you did give a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in another video take care guys mm -hmm.